Hello everyone and welcome to episode 15 of Trying Bedrock. So in today's video, what we're going to be working on is we're going to be building up a blacksmith or really just an area for where we can smelt stuff. That's really what it is, but we're calling it a blacksmith because, you know, that's kind of what they do in a really roundabout sense. But we have this area over here, which, you know, we have the anvils and whatnot in, and I'm thinking we may include some anvils in the blacksmith, but the main point is for it to be our furnace area. Okay, well, it just ran to the wall, but the main but the main point of our blacksmith is going to be our furnace area. Now I'm thinking we're going to put it like right, probably right in here. Let's use this mine shaft, go back, expand it a little bit, and then this will be it. However, uh, let's go over and check our wood supplies. I want to build this out of oak, and we don't have any logs. We should have probably a decent amount of planks and uh, trapdoors to actually get started with this, but we don't have any logs, and logs are an important part of this. As you see, the trim is completely in logs. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go into a sort of like montage -y type thing of it's not really, but it's basically just going to be showing me cutting down trees in a decent fast fashion. Probably not going to show every single tree because I have a lot of trees to do, but we're going to do that right around now and then we'll be right back to start building. We now have these oak logs. I got just over a stack, but I figured that's probably plenty, considering that, well, apparently we had another stack of logs, but we should have plenty that we should have just gathered, and you know what, we'll, we'll need to gather logs anyways. So, what we need for this build is we need the trapdoors, but I don't think we really need much more trapdoors than this, so I'm gonna hold off on crafting more for just a second. We're gonna craft some uh, doors. Let's, do we have stairs? We do have stairs, I and mean, it slabs as well. So we're gonna take both of these, and this is gonna be a little bit inlaid i think into the wall here so what we're gonna do is i think we're gonna cut you out go three four on this and then we'll mine some of this out make it go up by three here and then we'll cut this out and continue the up three just nope not there one block over yep that's right so i'll go over to here and then we'll go one two three we'll put the stairs there and then we'll ignore the stairs here because you would never see that Put this along here and then i believe we just cut this out and that's basically this completed and i'm gonna go dig this out just a little bit more and we'll be right back okay so basically i have this all dug out now i think i'm gonna increase the height of the roof it just feels a little bit off just feels a little flat up there but until then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a couple of the furnaces right here in and just to add a little bit of extra detail we're gonna put in a little bit of um what is it stairs just going up now that kind of acts like a chimney i'm not sure if i want to do something in between them i think i might want to i uh, might get some stairs and put them along the wall I'll, I'll play around with that in between this clip and me raising the roof up but yeah, basically this is how the interior is going to go. We have a little pillar here just to add a little bit of support. I could move it forward and make it even on either side, but I figure we might as well just keep it like this. And basically, like I said before, this room is where we're going to do all of our smelting and... You know, we have a couple of details we still need to add, such as the door, which I think we're actually going to put right here, but we're going to this direction, and then we're going to do this, this way, because trap doors are different than doors, which it makes a little bit more sense for the trap doors placing this way. But I'm going to get these in and then get the extra ones we need, because I don't have enough, I don't think. Oh, wait, no, I will have enough. Hold on. Yeah, but I'll get these in place and get uh, some more details uh, to add, and we'll be right back. And now for the final few details, just going to go through and place some cobblestone stairs sort of upside down along here on all of these. In the corners, going to place cobblestone slabs just like this. Pretty simple. Then we're going to place lanterns just in a couple of places. Let's see, right over here. And that will basically light the whole thing up. So this is the entire interior. Let's see, let's try to, try to get a good angle. Let's look at it from the outside. So this is the interior here. Uh, you can see we have a little some slabs in the roof here, some stairs here as well. And it's just has some supports. I, I, I like how this turned out. I just want something very minimalistic simple and that's basically what it is we just have a furnace area and it looks pretty decent especially for and it looks pretty decent especially for the size of the build 
I'm going to use the little bit of time I have left in this video to talk a little bit, just a little bit about the sort of future of the Ravine Project Town thing. I, am I calling the Ravine Project or the Ravine Town? I think I'm calling it both. So let's just say the Ravine Town, the future of the Ravine Town. Now what I want to do with this is I want to continue the bridge this direction. I think I'm going to have it go up, but it's going to get a little thinner on the side, curve around along here somewhere, and then go up along here. So that way we can have houses on this side of the ravine and once we do that they'll be a little bit higher up and i'm thinking that we'll make the supports for the um, path between them a little bit different in the sense that they come out of the side rather than just going straight down because i don't want to just have poles going straight down like like the whole bottom of the ravine just be stuck with poles like this bridge here because then we really couldn't be able to do anything down there whereas right now we could go through and maybe put some storage and stuff down there which is something i'm thinking we're probably going to end up doing in future videos it's something that just add a little bit more detail to the ravine and whatnot now my rough estimation for the completion of this ravine town, now keep in mind this is a very rough estimation, it may be a lot more, maybe a lot less than this being town, including the extra parts up there. That would also include all of the extra details and whatnot, and so that's basically just an estimation. Now keep in mind that is a very rough estimation, I'm not fully sure if that's how long it's going to take because I haven't even gotten into the planning section of this area of the ravine quite yet, but I do know that my ideas for a couple more buildings would require at least an episode for each building and I have a couple of buildings left. However, like I said, that's a very rough estimation so I would very much appreciate it if you didn't quote me on that because, you know, it may end up changing when I said, hey, you know what, I want to do this instead or these two buildings would be better suited together or maybe we'll build two buildings up in one episode. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna sleep and we'll be right back. Okay, so I believe that's gonna be it for today's video. I do apologize if this one's a little bit shorter um, than usual for trying Bedrock episodes. Uh, that's simply because I didn't- that's simply because I miscalculated the amount of work I needed to do on camera compared to off camera because I should have done a lot more of this behind me on camera, but I didn't and so I do apologize for that. But anyways, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, it has come to my attention that I don't plug the Discord enough, so if you are interested in that, um, the Discord link is always in the description of every video. So, but anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.